when sitting, lower back pain. What causes it and what to do about it? Hey, this is Kellen Chase with unstoppablefitness.co and today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about sitting, the dangers of it and how it can affect your lower back pain. So I've been sitting, writing a lot of emails, getting, getting stuff going on my website, writing, like, writing out things that I wanna talk about for these videos and my back started to hurt. And it was like, what the heck? I haven't had this type of pain in a long time. And I realized I'd been sitting for about two, two and a half hours doing the same thing, kind of working on the same thing. And it reminded me one of the most important things in fitness and in health and in like operating your human body is to move. So what can you do about your lower back pain? If you're sitting all the time, get up and move more often. I have worked personally from a some type of standing setup or standing slash sitting setup for a very, very long time. And we recently just moved into a smaller space and I don't yet have my, um, my setup to where I can do my standing and sitting the way that I have in the past. I have a, a desk that is much lower and I'm sitting all the time. So what I've been doing is setting myself a timer. I usually work to a timer and so I'll set it you know, you can go to e.ggtimer.com. I think that's it, it's eggtimer.com. If you Google it, it'll be the first thing that pops up. It's a really simple web-based timer that I will set for 25 minutes. I'll do a sprint of, of work. I'll get up after that 25 minutes, walk around, stretch, do a, do a couple yoga poses or something, and then I'll sit back down and get back to work. But the, the main thing to think about here is that your body loves to move. And if it's stationary in a certain position for a long period of time, the fascia over time is going to mold and sit in that, in that space. So there's something called lower crossed syndrome. And this is what um, seems to cause a lot of back pain, most back pain in the West where people are sitting in cubicles all the time. The, the idea here is that by sitting, you're actually shortening your hip flexors. Like sitting in that same position for a very long time shortens the hip flexors, which as I've talked about in previous videos, you know, causes other things to compensate for that shortening. So once those hip flexors get a lot shorter, your hamstrings are also gonna start to tighten up. And then this is gonna cause your your abdominals to be weaker. It's gonna cause your glutes to not fire because your hamstrings are so tight that they can't fire. Your hip flexors are so so tight that they can't fire. So your, your glutes and your abs turn off. They essentially just start to go to sleep because they don't need to work anymore because everything else is tightening up for them. Well, this causes your, your lower back and your erector spinea to, to do all this extra work. It, it causes your hamstrings to do all this extra work. And it causes this, this in, like for me, a chronic kind of pain. So when I, when I hurt my back previously, I did so much work to, to lengthen those areas, turn on the abs, turn on the glutes, and um, really balance out this, this issue. But it's, you know, when people are asking me, what's the, what's the cause of lower back pain when sitting? You know, the cause, is, is something that you can start to look for, which is good, but like the question that comes up for me is, how can you fix it? What's, what's the fastest thing that you can start to do to treat the back pain without going for surgery, without going for all these other things? And one of the fastest ways that you can, you can actually fix this is to stand up and start moving around. So, sit less, get moving a little bit more, and, and see what you can do about, you know, I, I'll stand up, and this, this may sound weird, but I'll stand up and I will squeeze my butt for three seconds as hard as I possibly can, like a glute squeeze. Squeeze my, squeeze my fists at the same time, clench my jaw, all to get, you know, that extra, extra squeeze in. But um, this is something I picked up from Brett Contreras, who's known as the glute guy. He literally did his PhD on glute science and figuring out how to, activate the gluteus maximus to the max possible. Now he uh, trains, um, I think, like bikini competitors and that kind of thing in how to get a butt because a lot of, a lot of women uh, have a very hard time building up their glutes and he's literally the glute doctor. But um, he also recognizes this same thing where, you know, the posterior chain is ignored in, in a lot of people's workouts and a lot of people's exercise routines and the glutes especially and the glutes fall asleep because everybody's sitting most of the time unless you're dealing with 
um, top level athletes who are you know up a lot then they're going to have other issues but for most people in america who are sitting behind a desk they need to get up they need to squeeze their glutes for as uh, you know as hard as they can for a period of time and and just feel like can you can you activate your glutes can you turn them on um so anyway that i want to give credit where credit is due that came from brett contreras so that's one thing that i'll do i will also um i'll do a, a f like a forward bend and I'll do it yoga style in which I'm not straightening out, like I'm not keeping my knees locked, I'm letting them rest, and I'm really not trying to stretch the lower back. What I'm trying to do is relax and release the hamstrings. So I'll do a forward bend in a way that is slightly bent knees and really just folding over, over and letting myself relax everything. I'm not, again, not trying to stretch the lower back. I'm not trying to stretch that out because what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that that is stable so that everything else can be mobile, so that our hips can mobilize, but I am trying to release the hamstrings. So by releasing the hamstrings that way, it's going to um, help to release the, the hip flexors. It's gonna to help to release everything else. So third thing I'll do when this timer goes off, I will do a hip flexor stretch with my arms straight up. I may insert a little video via magic here and if so you'll probably be seeing that instead of me waving my hands but um that's a great hip flexor stretch um to really help you mobilize uh those hips and lengthen that you want to sit in this position for more than 30 seconds so i will do th uh 30 seconds to 90 seconds depending on or even longer depending on how much time i have but the idea here is that uh the fascia responds at different rates. The muscle tissue responds at different rates. And for a stretch where we are trying to lengthen and not just mobilize, so I, I'll do other stretches and I'll, I'll limit them to under 30 seconds because I'm not actually trying to lengthen things. I, in this case, I am really trying to lengthen things. And so we will hold this for 30 seconds or longer. And um, Again, the reason for that is the fascia responds at different rates, and if we're actually trying to lengthen and reform, then we want to stick with this for, for a longer period of time. If you've ever done uh, yin yoga, which is um, a super, like, they, they will hold poses stretching for up to five minutes, even longer sometimes. <laughs> Ooh, if you've never done it, it can be torture. But um, as long as you're mobilizing the right, or as long as you're stretching the right areas and the right places, um, you will feel amazing afterwards. But I, I will tell you, it is quite a um, consciousness practice. You really have to be with yourself to sit in a position for that long, especially when it's one that's actually stretching out or moving something. So you can try uh, doing maybe a pigeon pose or something that will open up the hips uh, for that period of time and see how that goes for you. Um, so, when sitting lower back pain, we've talked about what, uh, what the causes are, and really it's that you are sitting and you're staying in that same position. Things start to lock up, things start to uh, activate to try and compensate, and that, if you feel that, you've already been too long, right? You've already been sitting in that position too long, and that's what I noticed today. As I was writing my emails and doing my thing, I, I hit that point and I was like, oh, my low back is hurting. Right? Like I've already been here for too long and things have shortened, things have started to compensate and that's where that pain came from. And how to fix it? I've given you a few tips on the activating the glutes. Another one that you can do is activating the abdominals by doing a plank pose. I, when sitting in an office, I would actually get up and I'd do uh, push-ups, planks, you know, I'm the weird fitness guy in the, in the office, but what can you do, right? Gotta stay healthy somehow. So that, that was my thing. Um, a plank pose, holding that for uh, 30 to 60 seconds, that's great for, or as long as you can. Depending on where you're starting, it may be 15 seconds. I, I remember, you know, doing side planks for, for 15 seconds and barely making it through kind of thing when I first started. But the, the idea, again, is activate those abdominals. You can do the butt squeezes. You can do the forward bends. Make sure to focus on releasing the hamstrings and not just the low back. If you like these tips and you want another one, I've got, um, I just made this, it's, a, it's an ebook and video combo about um, a little 30 second golf ball trick that I use to relieve back pain and uh, increase your mobility and strength all at once. So I have that up on my site at 
uh, unstoppablefitness.co slash back pain. You can download this ebook and check out the, the video that I have to go with it. It will walk you through more details on this lower cross syndrome, more details about where back pain is coming from, and this 30 second trick using just a golf ball that uh, can help you relieve your back pain. So if you wanna check it out, go there, let me know what you think. Um, as always, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think. Let me know what exercises you wanna try. And uh, if you do a butt squeeze in the office and you get caught, <laughs> let me know what people say. And you can tell them that you're just relieving your back pain. Anyway, I hope this is, you've had a great time with this video. Again, this is Kellen Chase with unstoppablefitness.co. Till next time.